quadraphonic stereo releases? Hi, welcome to Garage Geek. CGC Vinyl Guy started a thread where he wants us to show our quadraphonic stereo albums. And then Doug Anderson jumped on the thread. Now, I don't know if anyone else has, but Garage Geek is jumping on the thread. But Garage Geek is bringing it back to the dollar bin, baby. Now, I don't know if I have any quadraphonic uh, stereo record releases. I may, but I, I highly doubt it. But I will show you what I do have. I have four of these Phase 4 stereo albums produced by London Records, and these things are the bomb. All in the dollar bin. Now, when you open it up, it's got something about a Phase 4 stereo with some kind of weird math formula that makes no sense to anybody. And then when you open it up, it's got all of this craziness about this and channels doing that and colors and and all these kind of weird things that must be quadraphonic i don't know but anyways it's close enough each one of these beauties was a dollar and i want the entire set as this video goes i'm going to play a cut from each and actually the sound is really good <laughs> But I want to point out one song on this album. The name is I Came, I Saw, I Congud. How cute is that? Here's another album in the set. We got this big four on the cover. Reminds me of the Fantastic Four. And we open it up. Slightly different interior. These are all, these are all the albums. I got a lot to get. These are all the albums, and then there's another picture of this technique. That's quadraphonic, baby. Now, the third one I have isn't in as great a shape, but I couldn't pass it up. Moog. First song that I'm going to play. Oh, by the way, every song that I picked, I was lazy. I picked the first song. Just to give you a, a sample of what these albums are like. And the first one is a Moog version of Na Na Hey Hey Kiss Him Goodbye. I should have chosen the second one though, Nice and White Satin. I like that song better. But look at this. There we go. Look at that. Gorgeous. And the fourth one. Hair goes Latin. <laughs> I don't know if this is racist or what, but I love this album. Look at that cover. Oh, three of these albums were by Edmundo Ross. I'm not sure how to pronounce R O S. Ross or Ross. So he must have been a house favorite at the London studios. Look, this one even has a cutout of the four. Fantastic four. <laughs> so there you go garage geek keeping it in the dollar bins there's my quadraphonic if that's not quadraphonic i don't know but it's got a four on it four has to mean four channels right good enough for me if you have some quadraphonic albums all kidding aside would you please jump on this thread it's fun Showing off what you have in your collection, digging through your old albums, seeing if you actually had any. I didn't go through all of mine looking to see if I have any quadraphonic, because honestly, I don't think I do. But I do have these. And if you have any of these, I'd love to see them, because I'm enamored with this collection. I only have four. And I'm definitely on the hunt to find more. Now, I've seen these in other shops, and the prices are not a dollar. And so I'm on the I'm on the hunt for these, but I want to buy them on the cheap. Again, thank you for uh, watching my video and thank you for the support.